Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you a story about my gym journey because I wasn't always this buffed, right? I'm 21 right now and I think I started working out four years ago. I have to say my big inspiration to go to the gym was my dad. I mean, he was... Whew, Look at, look at this. You can see for yourself. So for me, a skinny guy who didn't know anything about the gym had to learn a lot. But I have to say, when I look back to my gym journey, I think I should have done some things different. So that's why today I'm going to talk about the five gym mistakes I made so you don't have to. Number one, always thinking more is better. When I started going to the gym, I was really excited because I went four, five, six times a week. And I wasn't there for like half an hour to an hour, but I was there for like two hours. And I also used to play football, so it really drained me. And that's something I definitely would have done different if I started out right now. Because when I look back at the mornings I needed to get out of my bed for school or something else, I definitely noticed that I was tired all the time, even if I got a good night of sleep. And that's because my body couldn't handle it. Of course I was younger and I was growing, but I still needed to get some rest because otherwise I couldn't recover. So please don't make that mistake if you're starting out. Take it by steps and increase it over time. So what I would do if I knew that back then is going to the gym two times a week and doing a full body workout. This doesn't mean that you can train every Every day but keep it light for example do a workout and the next day you do a recovery workout and the other day you do a workout and the next day you do a recovery workout etc etc this way you're not bringing too much volume on the table and you will give your body time to recover mistake number two not being hydrated in your workouts man when i started to become more hydrated during my workouts i noticed a lot of difference all of you guys know by now that i talk a lot about the benefits of water and this is also true for in the gym if you're not being hydrated before your workout or if you're not drinking enough during your workout Workout, you will definitely notice a loss in strength. This is because you lose a lot of water during your workouts and your cells need that water to grow and recover. So get yourself a big gallon of water and take it to the gym so you don't lose your power when you're doing heavy lifts. Also, and this is a little secret I'm going to tell you guys, if you drink more water before your workout, you will get a way better pump. And I have to say, this is even more important than pre-workout. Try this and you will see the difference, I promise. The third mistake I made in the gym when I was younger was skipping your legs. It's obvious right now. How often have you heard, do you even train legs, bro? Never skip leg day. And it's true. Training your legs has so many benefits that the most of you don't even know. It boosts your testosterone, which will lead to greater muscle all over your body, even in your arms or your chest. Your legs are one of the most biggest muscles in your body. And more muscle means more mass. And this means you burn more calories during the day. And that has an effect on your body fat percentage. And also who wants chicken legs anyways? So never skip leg day, even though the workouts are tough. Mistake number four I made was skipping the hard exercises. I think I started deadlifting maybe one and a half years ago. And I started setting bench PRs a year ago. Because I wasn't feeling it. I, I didn't like the exercises. I think the reason for that was that I thought they were tough. Even though these exercises are tough, they really help in your body composition. And that's something I didn't want to accept. Because I thought, oh, there are also easier exercises I can do. Let me do flies on the fly machine all day long. Let me do lat pull downs instead of me pulling myself up. Yeah. Skipping the hard exercise will not benefit you at all. So just don't skip them. Oh, William, but what if I can do any pull-ups? I think every gym has this machine. I mean, you don't have to pull your whole weight up. You can do it step by step. And as you progress, you can go lighter and lighter and lighter. And after a while, you can do them without any assist. Same goes for push-ups. What if you can do push-ups? Go and start on your knees. We don't think in problems on this channel. We only think in solutions. So I want you to stop making excuses and stop skipping the hard exercises. And mistake number five. Switching up my program way too often. Yeah, let's do push-pull legs for two weeks and then go to upper-lower for two weeks and then uh, full body workout for one week and then go back to push-pull leg. <laughs> yeah, I used to do this and I know some of you are still doing this and that's why I'm making this video. You need to know that your body needs time to get a motion in your system. If you keep switching your motions when you're doing chest press and then a fly and, and then doing all sorts of different variations, you will never get good at one of those exercises. And that's the thing, if you master a workout, you will see such a difference in your muscles. Of course, your muscles need different stimulations, but that doesn't mean you have to change your program every day. So make a program and stick to it at least eight weeks because that's enough time for your muscles to to adapt to the new stimulus and also enough time for your mental to get the motion in check and if you do all these things you will build way more muscle i can guarantee you that 